All right. Well, after a very long and uh, actually it wasn't that long at all battle against New Huju, I succeeded because I am a winner. You know, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I only did that extra stage a grand total of 40 minutes. Yeah, you didn't take very long to do that. Because uh, I complained about the stage, and then I got to new like twice, and then I got to new again, and then I beat her. So maybe, maybe, maybe that's good. So this game has spell practice, like a, a, all good games should. Except 10 desires. That game is shit. Alright, so I don't remember the last time we played this. What the hell is trance? Uh, I'm trying to remember what the hell it was, but I can't. What button did I map that to? Oh, art. Chat, what the hell is the trance button? Trance is the gimmick. Ah. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, my gimmick. So this game takes place after 12. Yes. Raymu is putting her foot in a portal puddle. The spirit portal. So this game is called, this game is Toho 13, 10 Desires. You know, that's not confusing at all. No. Nope. As you can see, I actually do have the extra stage already unlocked. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a legitimate run of it first because I don't remember how the mechanics work for this game. And if I just jump into the extra stage right away. You're gonna get clapped. You think so. Find a safe way to go, have a nice trip. Pray for IT data security. <laughs> okay. So. Oh yeah, you're in this game. Yeah, look at how. Ugh. She's so happy. Ugh. You almost here, huh? Yeah, I forgot you almost here. I didn't know. Wait, you? Oh, you almost in this game? I don't remember you being here. What, what the are fuck? You about? Uh. Chat, you was here. Chat, I forgot that you almost was in this game. Play you, you coward. All right, everyone wants to play as you. I beat it as Raymo. There's only one shot type, yeah. I guess four characters. Yeah. yeah. It's just right. characters. He gets to play as Yume's This is one of my favorite stage one themes. So Yume, Yume shoots, I guess. And then she does that. Uh, all right, the charge shot gimmick. Pew, pew, pew. So, yeah, I forgot Yoma was even a character so in wait, this game. How do, you, how do you charge again? What? No, it's just, uh, it's just Yomu. That's her focus shot. Uh, right. Charging makes her go. Alright, chat, so about those tier shifts. Are we I guess we will read that again. This is oh. also the first uh the first main series game to have the health bars done like this. Yeah. I think it's a decent enough game. It happened first in Great Berry Wars, but this is that that's a spin-off game. Yeah. Tier shifts are straight stupid? They were this time, huh? Alright, lay them on me. Alright, I'll go over the rises again because no one really heard them last time. So, Slowbro went from UU to OU. Uh, Bronzong, uh, regular. Uh, Bronzong, Delmise, Golisopod, Cleft Key, Umbreon, and Heliolisk went from RU to UU. Frostlass and Malamar went from NU to UU. Snorlax went from NUBL to RU. Uh, Obama Snow, Mudsdale, Some Silvali Form, and Vanillux went from NU to RU. Arctazolt went from PUBL to RU. Arctavish went from PUBL to NU. Cramorant went from PU to NU. Trevenant, alright, I'll get wait. Hmm. It would seem the spirits are all headed in the direction of the village. Ah, Yomu? What are you where are you going at this time of night? Ah, Lady Yuko. I was thinking of going to investigate these divine spirits. Eh? What half-asleep nonsense are you spouting? Eh? Hasn't this become a serious matter? What do you mean? Either way, if you say you're going to leave, you'll have to defeat me first. How irrational. <laughs> why, Yuko? Why are you a stage one boss? So, chat, isn't there like a, a hug mechanic in this game where I Something can hug? Like that? I think it affects the ghosts. I don't even remember what the hell the ghosts do. Alright. It seems if I stand within the red circle, I get a... I suck the spirit energy. Nice. Wait, what button do I let go of to shoot? That one. I can let go of either. You get lots of spirits when you hug. Well, I I would imagine hugging you, Yuko, would lead to some spirits. Good ones, I hope. Look at this wiener-ass attack. Yeah. Remember the last game you fought her in? Alright, continuing with tears. Uh, only a few more rises. 
Trevnant went from uh, ZU, aka Unspear, to NU. Golbat went from NFD to NU. Combustion went from Uncured BL to PU. And uh, Gothitelle and Kubat became PU. Now for the drops. <laughs> oh, buckle up, chat. Uh, so, from OU to just BL, uh, UUBL, Aegis Slash, Gengar, Halucha, and Frank Arena. I'm gonna wait for Dylan to beat Yuyuko because uh, I'm gonna need some time to list uh, the next box. Kaboom! Hmm, not bad at all. You can go ahead. She sure has a lot of time on her hands. What is it? What do you think of these divine spirits, Lady Yuyuko? I doubt that some troublesome individual is about to make a return. Or that there's any secrets in any anything in, say, the cemetery behind the temple. Hmm? Anyways, I'll be off. Bring me back a souvenir. That's Le that's Yuko's first appearance in years. <laughs> Welcome to the Yokai Temple. Alright, chat. So from OU to OU2. What do you mean OU2? This is what the, this is what UU is now. It's just OU again. <clears throat> Alright, chat. Buckle up. From OU to UU. Aerodactyl, Alakazam, Amoongus, uh, Galarian Articuno, Azel, Azumarill, Bocephalon, Buzzwool, Celesteela, Frogon, Cresselia, Fiancy, Entei, Glacier, Hatterene, Hippowdon, oh. uh, what? Oh. Glacier? The, the, the horse. horse. Yeah. Hippowdon, Hydragon, Jirachi, Komao, Kyurem, Latias, Magnezone, Metagross, Mew, Galarian Moltres, Nidoking, Nihiligo, Omastar, Raikou, Regidrago, Regigigas, Registeel, Rotom Heat. Re Regigigas? Regigigas is in UU. No way! <laughs> what happened? I got protect. Anyway, uh, I'll, I'll go over them more. I'll discuss them more. Uh, Rotom Heat, Salamence, Scizor, Skarmory, Galarian Slowking. This is UU? This is UU. What the fuck? Stack Attacka, Suicune, Tangrowth, Tapu Bulu, Tapu Lele. What? Thunderous Incarnate, Thunderous Therian, Togekiss, Toxtricity, Yuxi, Victini, Volcanion, Volcarona, Zeraora. What? That's UU now. How the fuck did Zeraora get replaced by the Reggie? Pretty much. It's just kind of better now. Oh, yeah, she's here now. Good morning! Anyway, chat, now for the OU to RU. Uh, Archeops, regular Articuno, Kabutops, Needle Queen, Regice, Rhyperior, Tornadus Incarnate, and Zerkatry. Yeah, Zerkatry in RU, chat. What? <laughs> that Pokemon special attack stat is insane! Yeah, and it gets killed well. And it has base boosts! Uh, OU to NU, Agron, Audino, Aurorus, Carving, Cradilly. God, I feel like I'm playing a different game with uh, Yomu here. Yeah. Uh, Crobat, Electivire, Regilock, Sceptile, Spiritomb, Tyrantrum. OU to PU, Absol, Altaria, Armaldo, Calyrex, Terracosta, Cryogonal, Guzzlord, Jinx, Magmordar, Mestret, Relicamp, Walrein, and Zydog. I'd like to point out that I haven't got a single one up yet. Oh, wasn't that fun. Eight life pieces, hmm. Ah, oh, yes, that's a good mechanic. The temple has quite a lot of yokai about. Oh, shit, it went on its own. Oh. This isn't a very satisfying explanation, though. What do you mean, Tail Glow isn't in the game yet? That's dangerous! Removing Tail Glow is dangerous. What are you doing, swinging sharp, sharp objects on the pilgrimage path? It's fine, isn't it? They're just yokai and fairies. The temple has a strict ban on killing. Zimud. To shoot. A lot of places have a strict ban on killing. <laughs> uh, no, well, not like I was gonna slice them until they were killed. Anybody swinging around sharp swords and committing unnecessary killing in the temple is to die here. What? You can- what? Huh? Alright, hold on, I gotta- I gotta know. Did they actually take out Kale? Well, I mean, the only Pokemon that could learn it without- was, uh... Motherfucker, they took it out! There's no reason to keep it, because the only Pokemon that learned it weren't actually in base game, right? I guess, but... That, that just seems odd to me, man. Anyway, not done yet. Uh... Oh yeah, uh, worth noting. Uh, if I wish to just back up real quick. Uh... Nightmortar, Guzzlord, Mesprit, Absol, Zydog, Kingler, and the Ability Drizzle were all banned from the EU. 
Kingdra, then Tyrantrum, Kingdra, Zydog, and Drought and Drizzle with Antimehi. Weather sucks. Weather does suck. Uh, Breon, of course, dropped to RUBL from UU. Slowking and Starmie dropped from UU to RU. Uh, Porygon 2 dropped from RU to NUBL. Uh, from RU to NU was Senescorch, Claydol, uh, Colossal, Kingdra, who got me in. Lycanroc, Sumso Voliform, Tangela, Toxicroak, and Vaporeon. Why, why don't they specify the Savali form? I mean, they do in the sprite, but I can't fucking tell which sprite that is. Oh. What uh, color is its head? I think it's Savali Fairy? Is it a pink? It looks pink. But Probably. Also... I doubt it's poison. No, that's down to you. Uh, it's from... Uh, Basculin and Magneton went from NU to PUBL. You, yo, Kai, as energetic as ever. So, would you happen to know anything about the Divine Spirits? What's a Divine Spirit? Does it taste good? Yes. Ask Yuyuko. She would know. As expected. Only a shrine would benefit from gathering Divine Spirits. I can't help but feel this isn't the work of a yokai. But even if these formless spirits materialize, they'll just vanish right away. There's nothing but essence of greed that's visible to the eyes at this point. Chad, I have a feeling I'm not using the mechanic I'm supposed to. Probably not. Should I be pressing the trans button when a one-up piece appears so I can double the, the get back Probably, from it? Probably, because now you need ten pieces for a one-up. Yeah, that would make sense. Because I haven't pressed that button once, and I, I, I'm not gaining any more meter for it. Fair. Alright, we're almost done with the drops. Uh, just two more. Let's from, all live in a cemetery. From NU to PU, Excelgor, Sinchino, Frostmoth, Kingler, who was banned, Right on. You can't ban Kingler. But they did though. Uh, I mean, you should. Uh, Ronan Fan, Sandaconda, and Togedemaru. And from PU to Unpu, Bufalant, my boy Dreadnought, Dubwolf, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Christian's boy Phalanx, Golduck. What, Gordon. Phalanx is Unpu? Yeah, I, I'm surprised too, man. I feel like No Retreat made that thing good enough, personally. Look, I did it. You did it. Uh, Thorgeist, Heatmore, Luxray. <laughs> Dude, Yomu just fucking going at it. Alright, well I used it and I got uh, four life pieces as a result. Uh, Luxray, Marini, Dunn's, Dunn's favorite Mawile. Mawile oh. is on tier because no mega. What do you want? Well, ah, someone's swinging swords around. Oh, anybody will do. I saw this girl I've never seen before keeping watch back there. But no matter how much I shoot her, I always lose by timeout. So, could you do something about her, please? Plead of help from a yokai. How bizarre. <laughs> but we'll have to test you if you're tougher than me. I cut her up. Uh, Galarian, Rapidash, Shuckle, and uh, I think that's Silvali Grass and Dark? It's hard to tell sometimes, chat. Oh, almost ran into a bullet and died. Alright, chat, but I'm not done yet because there's also uh, usage stats. Alright. So I made a joke to one of my friends that uh, the top 10 usage for this month was just going to be Ubers. I was right. <laughs> really? Uh, the top 10 for OU was Urshifu Single Strike, Magirna, Kiram Black, Feramosa, Landers Therium, Zygarde, Spectreer, Heatran, Landers Incarnate, and Genesect. I'm starting to understand how this works now, and I should have used uh, I should have used my one charge. So basically, hold your spirit charge until one ups appear, and you'll get a lot of one ups. Yeah, but Phalanx is the middle part now going. The okay. si the amount you have is dependent on the gauge down there, but you can only use it when you have at least one full charge. I figured as much. So three charge is ten seconds. It also activates uh, on its own if you get hit. So yeah, I you can't that. you can't so, store but it. But you do you do still lose a life. Uh, you don't lose a life until afterwards. Yeah. So if you, you manage to get a life back while you're in it, then you're back at the game. Neutral. Well, he told me to go to the cemetery, but... Although she may not have actually had said it. Anyways, the spirit is really making a racket. These gravestones are fucking massive. Big, don't come any closer! Big dead energy. <laughs> this is no place for the likes of you to enter. Zombie. Ah, oh, hello. You already dead. Maybe you're decaying. We are fighters, arisen to protect this magnificent mausoleum. We, huh? Uh, Jia, uh, Jiang Chi, I see. Right, so knowing that, you should leave, or otherwise become one of our companions. Companion? Sorry to say, but I'm actually in a similar state already. But still to be loitering around this world because of a few lingering attachments. 
I feel sorry for you. Huh? Something feels off. We aren't stuck in this world because we have attachments. It is also that she shall not be trampled upon by the temple's inhabitants again. Yoshika is a very sad character. I mean, she's just some random girl who died. And then Seiji Se Se was like, yo, bring that ass back. And now she's just, she's eating my spirits. What are you doing? Ever since Oregon Trail, you've accepted Yoshika as your sister in spirit? <laughs> you got bit like five times that run. I don't even, I didn't even know you could get bit more than once, and then you got bit like five times. Kind of impressive. I can't beat her because she heals when she eats the spirits. <laughs> what? I don't know, man. Oh, that's horse shit. Four? I thought it was five. I don't know. You, the point is, you got bit a lot. And I, I did get you to the end, so you didn't even die. Well, wouldn't you get infected and die anyway? Well, you can keep them alive. They just take more resources to keep alive. That's and how Oregon Trail's infections work. Well, that was close. They do die faster, and you do kind of gotta keep a special eye on them, but otherwise, you're fine. Chat, you how do I how do I hug them when they, they shoot bullets like that? Find a safe spot and stand still for a full fucking minute. But they move. Give me those. Yeah. Just drop kunai. Yoshika's interesting because she's a character that exists, but she, her free will is non-existent. She's essentially just a slave to the orders of, from Sega. However, there is one instance where she was seen reciting poetry alone in the graveyard. That's that's the only form of individuality we've ever seen of her. Oh. So that's also like the plot of Suikakasen, which I haven't seen yet, by the way, but I, I really should. Mm. I, wanted to, I wanted to talk about the other use of stats, so... Uh, how do I beat her? So, yeah, I listed the top 10. Uh, Reggie Elected was only number 11. Uh, Zap both Zapdoses were in the top 20. So, you know, good Pokemon. Uh, Blaziken and Melmetal were 16 and 17, respectively. Uh, interestingly enough, regular Moltres is still in the Her gimmick is dumb. <laughs> what? what? I'm dying! I'm dying! Oh, I'm dying over here! Yes, yes, we get it. You're already dead. Jiang, she put a charm stuck on her head. That must mean there's a master controlling you. Was there? Of course. You also reeked of the possibility of such. Eh, I stink, but I take such good care of my skin. You're looking a little pale, though. Ah, uh, zombie jokes. Hey, at least she's having a good time. Well, anyways, I'll go search around for who's controlling you. I'm sure they'll have clues for me. My master? What the? Wait, does that mean that dreadful religious war is upon us once again? Uh, who was that? She's been standing in this graveyard for a couple of years before this game happened. I was mentioned in an article by Hatate or Aya, one or the other. This looks like the hole to underground. Well, we are going to some a pocket dimension kind of thing, I guess. Yeah. I didn't see that. That's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, uh, regular Moltres stayed in OU. Uh, Swamper is 25th in the assist because Flip Turn is a good move. Interestingly, I didn't lose my bombs. Well, it's better that way, honestly. Uh. Hmm. Slice and dice. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what to say about the other usage. I'll go over the top 10 of all the other tiers. Uh, the top 10 from 10 to 1st in Ubers was Eternatus. Zygarde Complete, Ditto, Xerneas, Oh oh Kyogre, Across the Duskmane, Nation Crown, Veltal, and Calric Shadow. Nation got uh, dethroned because Calric Shadow Rider is really good and Veltal is really good at not getting beat by it. That, that's how it's due. Alright, the lower tiers aren't as interesting because they didn't actually have anything to drop immediately, so uh, th these are going to sound normal. So 10 to 1 and you use one. Bisharp, Zahud, Necrozma, Incineroar, Galarian Slowbro, Sylveon, Mimikyu, Protowash, Noivern, and Kabbalah. Are you Mantai, Drapion, Gardevoir, Xcloud, Bronzong, Dragalge, Blastoise, Steelix, Pessimian, Arcanine, 
and Newark. Regular Rotom, Mudsdale, Delson, Nine Tails, Ninjas, Aromatis, Arctical, Vanillax, Galay, and Ellisfly. Thank you, Frost, for the gift sub, or not the gift sub, just the resub. Sub. Dude, what the? You hear that? That noise in there? <laughs> I hear a lot of things. Wait. Pew! I can't activate my thingy without full charge. Pew was Sand Slash, Pheasant. Cramorant, Savali Poison, Galarian Corsola, Hitmonchan, Lifeheart, Kangaskhan, Jolteon, and Endurgus. And then Little Cup looks the fucking same. Except Goofy's there now. Here, my supernatural radar is getting a signal. Chat, who's that guy on the door? He's there like three times, and then there's like an evil looking dude on the other side of the door. Maybe it's Yugi and Kaiba's ancient Egyptian ancestors. No, because he's the, the, Yugi would be there three times. <laughs> yes, this place is a tomb. Maybe it's. I don't know. Welcome. Ah, you're... Oh, we just met back there, right? Who are you? Hey, look, chat. It's banned from heaven. I'm Sega Kaku. I'm currently living as a hermit. See? Wicked hermit who passes through walls. A hermit? Hmm. That would mean... A hermit is a hermit. Perpetual youth, a clear mind, a sturdy body. The game... Her game title is straight up Wicked Hermit. And people be like, oh, she didn't do anything bad. <laughs> you don't just get the title Wicked Hermit if you haven't done anything bad. <laughs> Seems you're the same sort of being. You transcended life and death, haven't you? Don't I don't know how Yomu works. No one does. No, uh, I can die. Die, you say? What? You can't die. Die, you say? <laughs> Mysterious appearance by a little green one. Dying's no dying's no good. Anything but that. Oh my, you're back quick. Oh my, oh my, you resurrected quickly. What's that? You've got a grudge against this person in front of us? So, will it be another round? With this girl who has absorbed all the divine spirits that gathered in the tomb? So you're that thing's master. That saves me some time. My faithful servant, go eradicate the one who would deny this resurrection. Pew! From what I remember, uh, she just gets in the way a lot. And she doesn't actually die. But Yomu can kind of just go around her. They are. I don't actually know how many times you've died this far, because I've been re I've been looking at my fall for most of this. There we go. I didn't get the bomb beast. There you're fine. You got almost max in the bombs. I got don't think you've used one yet. <laughs> no, I haven't. Yeah, Yomo kinda just goes through uh Yoshika. It's helpful. Although I really hate spell cards that require me to kill two people. Chat, say it with me. Boss fights where you gotta fight two bosses at once are never, ever, ever, ever fun. The pattern sacrifice complexity so they can use, uh, just have multiple, like, layers. And the layer, the additional layers are hard because it's impossible to really set them up. There isn't really any consistent pattern to them because both bosses move randomly, right? Yeah. So there's no the static, uh, way to do things. All right, let me rephrase that. They're only not fun when the bosses are clearly not designed to be fun. The almost bomb is just her slashing, like, radically. That was kind of weird. I only recognize this theme because it was in public dance. Chop, 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 Go, Yomu, slice, slice! Oh my, 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 how splendid. The people living in Tokyo are truly our talented. Well, I am strong after all. Why is that spirit looking at me like I'm lying? Now I have something to ask you. These divine spirits gathering here. It's okay, it's okay. The preparation should have ended right about now. Preparation? For what? These spirits that look like divine spirits are just actually just common desires. If you leave them be, they'll disappear soon. They won't do any harm. Uh. She will be revived very soon. Compared to that foreign prophet, <laughs> Jesus Christ, Christ. Who, pri who resurrected three days after his execution, this will be much more divine and magnificent. You can't say that. I don't know what you're scheming, but the dead being resurrected can't be anything but a bad thing. Or, so I think so. She says that, but she seemed pretty okay with, uh, Yu Yuiko 
unearthing Bone Fist body. Oh, Yuriko didn't. Oh, whatever. <laughs> whatever, she learned her lesson. I like that stage of it's just like, yeah, that guy, Jesus Christ? Nah, Miko. Miko's nah. gonna have a way grander revival. Miko is greater than Jesus confirmed. So, Sage is not actually affiliated with the Towers group, but she is the one that taught Miko Taoism. So, she has an affiliation there. But at the same time, it's like, what, what an interesting character. I think it's kind of shitty that they're, they're the two religious groups of Gensokyo, with uh, the Myodan Temple and the Mausoleum. You have technically Nazarin, Sho, uh, technically Nue, technically Koishi, if you can believe it. <laughs> uh, Jun's there, but th those are those are characters that aren't actually part of the group, but they are they're like part of the temple. But the actual characters part of the group are Marasa, Ichiden, and Sho. And then here you have the Towers group, which is Tojiko, Futo, and Miko. And Tojiko is a stage five mid boss who doesn't say anything. So you basically just have Futo and Miko. Well, that's kind of unbalanced. A little bit. I hate this, whatever this is. I think that, like, besides Toho 12, like, Toho 6 is probably the, the most involved in terms of people related to the crew. Damn it. Like, you start dealing with the SDM crew by stage 3. Bonus. It really takes until, like, stage 4. No, like, like, even in Toho 7, like, it's only really Yiko and Yomu that are doing things, and you don't fight uh, Yomu until stage 5. The, well, the, the additional help is the bar of the Phantasm stage. Yeah, basically. But yeah, the main... Okay, what's going on here? The main perpetrator of that event was uh, was just Yiko and Yomu. I almost got ran into by a ghost. Same deal in Toho 8. You don't fight anyone related to the thing until you fight Raisin and Kei in stage 5. That one's a bit different, because... Kay and Raisin are uh, mid-boss and boss, and then Eren and Kaguya are the main things behind it, but uh, they're alternate bosses. Fair. So, like... Oh, God. Okay. Tokiko Sprite is tall. Hold on, let me just... Go a million bombs. This is quite a big tomb. Ah, the fateful day hath finally come. There now she is. Thou who hast blessed mine resurrection, speak anon and name thyself. Whoops, there's someone in here. Thou art inhuman, it would seem. Hmm, your body is covered with the stench of death. I, Fry, Fry art nay longer amongst the living. We art of like kind, art we not? Art thou not also a, a, Shikaisen. Sh a Shikaisen? Huh? No, I'm not. Eh? I, I see. Then I hast judged thee in error. Thou hast mine apologies. You're a Shikaisen. And you're in leagues with that wicked hermit from just now. I And what wouldst thou doth? Doth? What doth. does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Defeat those who rebel against the natural order and return them to the ground. Alas, and I thought thee had a kinder soul to me. Kinder. Thou, kinder soul to me. Thou who thinkest, thou who thinkest thou couldst return this fusion of the... Secret art of the Mononobe and the way of the Tao and the ground. Come on and attempt such a thing with all thy might. I love the way Fuka talks. Whomstiv is this? Whomstiv. <laughs> There's motion blur on those arrows, and I don't know if they're hitboxes. I don't think it's motion blur. I think they're just full on arrows. Like they're just like. <gasps> boat! Off the boat! I'm on a boat! Well, that was good. Let me just take those. 15 life pieces needed. Yeah, there's no motion blur on it. They're literally just full on arrows. It looks like motion blur. Yeah, I do see it, yeah. It kind of looks like they're leaving a trail. Oh, whoops. Fuck up! Two. One. Zero. Spell card over. Time over. Yo, we should play Monkey Ball. That would be a good stream. I don't know why I got hit last time. I just didn't go fast enough. Ooh, another kind of wide. 
Why does she shoot arrows? I don't know. What she the hell is this? Ice. She wouldn't have guns. What the fuck? Fireballs? She's trying to burn you to the ground. Oh, that just... Okay, the, the orange ones keep coming no matter what. Alright, what are you doing down here? You're on a boat. What are you on a boat for? She's on a boat. Uh, am I winning? I think you're winning, son. Dude, you almost cheats. Is she almost dead? I uh, can't tell. Her health bar is like in her. Oh, she's dead. What is this? It would seem thou art truly no ordinary being. Yep, I'm no ordinary being. For mine defeat to has come to pass so readily, thou must truly be a hermit of great fame. I'm telling you, I'm not a hermit. Thou needest not play at humility. Didst thou not come to bless the crown prince's resurrection as well? Uh, maybe I better be better if I play along at this point. That's right, I've come to deliver a blessing. I understand, I understand. For what's not a blessing from one so powerful as thee be an event worthy of lauding? Anon, come this way. Alright. I don't know what she's saying. She's man. taking me to the big boss. I'm waiting for the light pieces to show up so I can pop the. The big meme gauge. Welcome to the Taoist nightclub. There are a lot of lights in here. It's pretty. It's pretty. Why does it look like we're in space? Because we're inside a... We're inside of a... We're inside of a... Dylan, it literally doesn't matter what we're inside of. We shouldn't go inside anything and end up in space. Andrew, I'm a floating half phantom half ghost girl with a sword. Yes. That's not what I'm talking about. Why though. is space so hard to believe? It's not space. It's, it's an space enclosed space. space. Hence, space. So we're in a planetarium. What? No, we're in a mausoleum. That doesn't make any sense. Huh? I'm in a pocket dimension in a mausoleum escorted by a classic English girl who likes setting shit on fire. Yes, and I want to know why the fuck there's space inside of the house. I don't know. There's space in every house. But, like, outer space. There shouldn't be outer space inside, otherwise it's not outer space. What do you want, inner space? What do you want? No, I just want to know why there's outer space in the inner space. That's you know what? I want to know. Be. I want to know where the fuck the life piece is. That's a good question. I'm grabbing all these spirits and I ain't doing shit. Nothing? You didn't give me anything? I fooled that person back there to get me by saying I was a hermit. Still, this is the first tomb I've seen that was so full of vitality. And these divine spirits? Now they're just materialized incarnations of desire, apparently. Vulgar spirits, the low-grade spirits among the vengeful spirits. Who could stand to gain something from gathering the, these things here? No, they have gathered of their own volition. Desires gather at my side in every single era. Because I was made to listen to ten desires at once every day, I'm sure. Oh. Title drop. Hmm? You lack two desires. From among the ten that I expected, your attachment to life and your envy of death are... Sorry, but I'm afraid that I'm already half dead. Is that right? Then you and I are comrades, are we not? The sure Toko Taoist. Miko. Come to me, comrade. She has two right hands, did you know that? Okay. Oh dear god, you're right. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, uh. Miko has two right hands. Those, Those who walk a path forward eternal life at its end point? Well, although you may already be a hermit or a shik shikaisen. No, no, no. I just denied being a hermit a second ago. There's no need to hide it. I see and understand all. All that can be understood from seeing human desire. Regrettably, your desires are lacking, and therefore incomplete. Wait, no, I'm telling you, that's not it. As a comrade, you understand what will happen next, don't you? No, I don't. Two beings survive to eternal no, I'm not gonna do this. To eternal life must join together in combat and join together in study of the Tao. Just notice Yomo doesn't have red eyes. Now, try to defeat me. And be resurrected as a states statesman of eternal life. 
No demo, this isn't this isn't the mausoleum of the Emperor. This, this is a mausoleum of the Miko. Who has exploding arrows? Chad, if Toho was a Yu-Gi-Oh archetype, their field spell would be the Hawk the, they would be the Hakare shrine. Or again Sophia the Paul. One of the two. I wanna give her a hug, but I'm scared to approach her. Uh, uh, so. uh, I have a better idea. Chad, I don't like it when bullets explode in the marble, especially really close to you. Because yeah, I don't like it either. The bullets explode, and it's like, well, I'm glad I reacted to that. That's a joke because you lucky you die. The main difficulty from this game is not having any fucking lives. So everything is scary just by that. You say that, but <laughs> If the Hakure Shrine is destroyed or leaves the field, special summon Tenshi from your deck. That would that would be a good that would be a good She just adds another layer of shit. Oh fuck this. Hold on. Pressing X win. Explosive bullets give you extra bullets with your bullets. Yes, it's a great Thou value, art mine! Uh, Get a load of this! Get a load of this! I forgot about this part. I don't think I like this part. I don't think I hated this part. The more, you know what they say, the more the merrier. This full of Eggman quotes. Yeah, someone in chat mentioned that. I was, I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? But now nah, I don't know. It's no it's use! It's no use! Take this! They died. Playtime's over. That's Wolf. Playtime is over. Wait, why do you fall? Oh, nice deal. Chad, I realized something about Star Fox 64 that confuses me. If you, so if you do all the all the good end, all the good endings to the missions and like do the hard path. You fight the Star Wolf on Venom, and they have their their enhancements because you're supposed to have beaten the shit out of them. But if you do the full hard path, you don't actually fight them at all, so they shouldn't be injured. Star Wolf should not be injured, but they are. I don't know what's going on, but uh, I'm currently wailing on her. And then you die. Like, it makes sense if you go to Fortuna first, because then you, you know, you, you blow them up. You basically kill them, but not really. And then if you get to Venom from there, which you can, it makes sense for them to be injured. But if you do the full, if you do the full hard pass, you don't actually fight Star Wolf until that point. So the fact that they they're injured, the fact that Wolf injured, doesn't make any sense. Ow, that's a shame. This game must be annoying when you try to capture spell cards because if you activate your divine uh, bullshit mode and you activate charge the next spell card with it, you just fail the bonus. Um. I'm just gonna press this and watch the guy. Press the button that wins me. Wow, this one. It's just the fucking pendulum one that I hated from the last, uh, the mouse and the tiger. Ah, uh, yes, pendulum. My favorite monsters. And then, the, this one. Chat, if you ever want to get someone to not play Yu Gi Oh!, just tell them about pendulum. That'll hurt their brain. Don't rack anyone's brain. Ow. Again, the difficulty of this game comes from not having any fucking resources. <laughs> like, if I had, if there were normal, uh, the ability to get lives was normal in this, uh, this game, then it wouldn't be as stressful.
The fact that the game doesn't take away your bombs if you die to, which is nice. Yeah. But, uh... Wowie zowie. Uh... Yeah, that's only really hard because the entire time you're doing it, the game's like, by the way, you have two lives. Like, you don't really get to make bonus lives for this one. But Yomo's the best. She's just good. And... Yay. Yep. Congratulations. You beat it. Oh, Yiko decided to try to become a Shikaisen and then got tired of it. She also wrote the na her name in the back of her head. <laughs> Clean this up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yiko's great. Alright. Having a lazy master is a pain. Good name of that ending. Uh, lazy boss. So yeah, that was significantly easier to beat than UFO for sure. But again, as I've said a few times now... It's uh, the fact that I wasn't able to obtain an extra life until stage three without using the uh, spirit mechanic gimmick thing. It kind of says a lot about so it. So how exactly do I use that? You just press you press your trigger button for trance when you have three full bars. That's the only way you can use it. Okay. And it doubles have the... Uh, have three full bars? Yep. And it doubles the effect of, uh, of all the spirits you grab. So if you grab a life piece, it doubles it. Okay. So that's what I use it for. Yeah, all right. That's what I figured. All right, we're going to switch. Here we go. Yomu cheats. The only reason I'm showing the first screen to the end screen is because if I don't and the game crashes, it doesn't count as a win. But if I do let it go to the first page of the ending, it does count it as completed. And I've had the game crash on me a few times and I'm, I'm absolutely sick of it happening. So that's why. Since you have fulfilled your desire to play, thank you for playing. Yeesh. Alright, uh, yeah, put your name in. Oh, yes. Mononobe. Don't forget to backspace. Give me that. You're saving over your old replay? I didn't mean to do that. Shit. You already did it. Oh well. Mono. All right. All right. Cool. There's, there goes. There goes that replay. Well, that was a replay when I, I, I beat it with Rainbow somehow. The fact that I could beat this game back then, you know, <laughs> I think that's still pretty impressive. All right. Slow. My trans button is R. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep it that. All right. I'll be Sinai. Wherever they are, these divine spirits must be useful to the shrine. Human desires lead to the biggest blessing. Fate stems from them, after all. We got five desires, greedy desires, selfish desires, and deathly desires. I can't tell if it's just because of the way the art is done, or like, how the scaling is, but the characters in this game look very, like, thinned and stretched out. Yes, I, I know what you mean. They're tall. They are very tall. Alright, it's a night time. All right, good team. Right, I forgot I have this weird shot type now. Chad, I really like the HUD in this game. It's, it's a nice, very pretty. It's a nice shade that isn't distracting while you're playing. The the EOSD one's kind of crusty. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> it's old school, but it's crusty. Uh, and then PC98 was just uh, solid black all the way through. Well, that was fine too. Wasn't distracting. No. This one has a lot of... Uh, uh, there's, there's a lot to it that you think it would be distracting, but no, it's it's nice because the colors don't really stick out in the corner of your eye. I can't even remember what the the HUD looks like in the previous ones. UFOs was bright, I remember that, and I'm pretty sure Subterranean has a similar green shade going on with it. This is my, yeah, this is my favorite stage one theme. Not my favorite stage one uh, boss theme though. I don't I know what like Sunai does. My, my, my bar? The blue things. Okay. I don't know if it's the blue or the gray ones. Either way, the spirit the spirit things you grab. Pretty sure the bigger they are, the more uh, the more they give you. Yeah, I don't really you know can, about that. You can tell stage one is easy, because I've been looking at not me for the entire time. Well, it's stage one on normal mode. Why you, you, you get a big head over stage one on I'm normal mode? I'm just saying, like, you can tell. You pick... Picking easy, the easy difficulty and being like, this is pretty easy. What did you think was gonna happen? I thought I was gonna die. You know, Lunatic would probably kick your ass. Yes, it would. 
I wonder if it's really advisable for the netherworld to allow living humans in so readily. You're a little late to the party on that one, Sanai. Oh, do we have visitors? Hold on a moment. I'll prepare some tea. She still has the little arm dances. I really like this art for Yuko. It is pretty good. And the design on her outfit. But then she's just... Why is she using a stage one box? Oh, no. Don't mind me. Anyways, I have business with you. You know, you could at least start off with sorry to bother you at this late hour or something. These divine spirits have suddenly started gushing out everywhere. So, would you know anything about the matter? Hmm, divine spirits, you say? You want to know about divine spirits, do you? If you please. Then it's a duel! Try and defeat me for it. Chad, is it just me or does Yuko's art like ten times better than every other characters in the game? No, it is. It's, it's like unreal how much better it is than everyone else's. Especially all the bosses who come after this. I don't get it. Maybe it's because Zun has actually drawn this character before. But then what's its excuse for the, the player characters? He's drawn Reimu countless times. All the bosses, of all the bosses, Yeko has the best art by far. Okay, so the... Oh, the life piece must be kinder. Yeah. Good old RNG. It hates me. You're gonna have to do a circle around her when you get the clear, I guess. Ghost spot. So yeah, if you stay on the red circle, you get a, you accumulate extra points. But uh, that's kind of hard to do. I don't even remember how the resources for level 14 work. I like how we can say that certain art is, we can describe it as soft, and anyone who's seen it will be like, yeah, I agree. Like, I don't even know how that, that is a prop, it's not a proper way to explain art, but you can just see something like that and be like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> soft is correct. I almost died here. Yes. It is a stage six boss, after all. So you wanted to know about the Divine Spirits. Did we really need to fight for that? Something on your mind. Well, I just figured someone who knows about spirits might know why they showed up so suddenly. Do you plan to put them to use for your shrine? The Moria Shrine? I don't know what's going on either. Ghosts as they seem, I know nothing about the divine spirits that are gathering toward the temple cemetery. Eh? How does she know about that? Like, the stage one in this game is, is uh, stage five in Toa to Seven. And that's the first location of the entire game. Everyone just immediately goes to Yuko's house. It's like, what the hell's going on, Yuko? <laughs> I mean, and to be fair, didn't they all kind of do that in the spinoff as well? True. Like, in 10.5, most people concerned with the ghost problem are just like, yo, Yuko, what the fuck? Well, if she is, she's supposed to be the governor of the other world, right? So it's her jurisdiction. That's the but it's like, then, it, and then immediately the game's like, oh, okay, we're, never mind, we're going to the temple. Then we're going to the temple graveyard. Then we're going into the wormhole under the temple. To find the Divine Spirit Mausoleum. The uh, the route that is taken for this game is kind of weird. Stage 4 is like some kind of weird cave that leads to the big door, and then that's like the pocket dimension. I mean, it, it's Puppet Dance Performance does it too. The big door that leads to the, the weird outside the mausoleum. It's like, obviously the mausoleum shouldn't exist there. In fact, in one of the endings, they actually move the entire thing under the Hakadeh Shrine. And then it's just there. That, that ending's not canon, though, but they did that. So they're capable of moving it. I'd rather save my barrier thing for when the light pieces show up. Yes. I could have gotten a bunch of bomb pieces, but bams are less important to me. Where's the temple? The temple is somewhere... I don't think it's at... I think it's in the human village? It's around the human village. The thing is, the temple is can turn to the ship, right? And... Biakka then chose the location she did for uh, to rest the temple because she felt she felt a presence below ground, so she thought it was she should seal it away before it had a chance to revive. So she put the temple on top of Nico's mausoleum, which uh, I'm at the edge of this circle and I'm still getting a few spirits spawning. Be careful of the bouncy bullets. Yeah. The Arkadon put the temple on top of the mausoleum, which inadvertently activated it as a result, and then caused this. I'm shooting snakes! And then Mika woke up. I think it was quite a while after, because again, 
the um, Yoshiko was in the graveyard for a, quite a while before the events of this game. I'm pretty sure it's been at least a year since the events of Toho 12. It's not like it just kind of happened. Oh, this sucks. Alright, uh, that was unfortunate, but I made him out. Boom. I just kind of beat down the girl who was performing her morning duties. Rude much. But everyone should still be asleep, so it shouldn't be a problem. But it is a problem. I got careless thinking you were just a human. Ah, you're doing so well. Uh, you're doing well. Great, that's great. Anyway, the temple starts its mornings quite early, doesn't it? Well, yeah, that's just part of the liturgy. You've gotten quite good at being able to recite sutras from memory. That's great. Incidentally, attacking humans is also part of the liturgy. Eh? A human screamed to begin a morning at the temple. How wonderful! I don't think that's part of the part of it. No, I don't believe her. I don't think that's part of it at all. She's only down here because she faces extinction. That's unfortunate. She's a Yamabiko, known as a mountain echo. But you know, people people have theorized, and by theorized I mean echoes. When you when you shout in a mountain, sound waves travel, causing an echo. But it was actually her. But then the real world was like, science explains it like this, and she was like, oh shit. And then even against Sokyo, people started explaining it like that. So she started to become endangered. She's an endangered species because even people against Sokyo don't believe that her, her the type of yokai exists. Wow, so she So now she works at the temple to be noticed and known about but I guess Biakuden's a bit of a slave driver and works her to the bone. It's, poor girl. Didn't do anything wrong. But hey, she gets to de-stress with her rock band with Mistia. That is canon, by the way. Oh, nice. Yoko and Mistia have a rock band. It's, uh... Yeah. <laughs> it, it doesn't seem to qualify as music within the world, though. Everybody re refers to it as that annoying noise in the middle of the night. I don't like having to dodge from multiple sides. It's and then there were none, but on Babby mode. Ooh. I'm always afraid I'm gonna get body checked. Same. So yeah, they fought, stay in the blue circle when it dissolves, everything yeah. escapes. So just don't go too close, because I think bullets can kind of spawn behind you. Oh, that's... Oh, this is bad. Cool mechanic. Not yeah, I do, do like this game. Green. I'm done for! What a shout. Oh, how this humble Yamabiko still lacks training. Um. What? Could it be that you're a yokai? Eh? Oh, thank goodness. I was worried I was fighting a monk. Did she seriously think this is part of a monk's liturgy? <laughs> now then, she's mentioned the temple cemetery, so that's where I'll be off to. Oh, Sanai, what are you doing? <laughs> she's doing her best, man. She just wants to be, she wants to be like her hero, Reimu. I gotta wonder how Kyoko and Mistia even, like, met. I mean, they both like singing, but, well, I didn't expect them to turn into that. I expected Kyoko to turn into that, but Mistia? Huh, weird. Maybe, maybe she heard Mistia singing the, the Night Sparrow song or whatever. And she was like, let's form a metal band? <laughs> I mean... Those pink fairies have life pieces, I think. Oh, never mind. I I stopped looking at myself. This is stage three. I gotta start looking at myself more. The um, there are a few different canonical groups in the the series. There's the there's the Prison River Sisters, which now feature Raiko as their percussionist. You should pop the. Oh, you don't have it. I don't have it, unfortunately. Holy shit! You almost died on spawn. That's okay. I'm a god gamer. The Prison Rivers have Hori, uh, Raiko as their percussionist now, so they're a band of four. They have a canonical appearance in 15.5 too, which is pretty sick. There's the rock duo of Mistia and Kyoko, and then there is the classic, the classic oh. duo of Benben and Yatsuhashi. Oh, you're... Oh, you came at a good time. I saw this girl I've never seen before keeping watch back there. See, Kokasa just looks really out of place because she still uses her Toho 12 art. I guess she does, doesn't she? Yeah. Wait, is it? Chad, yeah, it is. is this straight up her art from that? Or I mean, she... look at it. It kind of looks like it, but I don't remember. <laughs> no matter how much I shoot her, I always lose my time out. So could you please do something about it? Please! Huh? A quarrel between fellow yokai, perhaps? 
That's just perfect. I'll take care of both of you at once. Seems to be the same art. Really? I legit can't remember. I blocked her out because she pissed me off on the extra stage. Boo! Ha <laughs> ha! Made you jump! The Horiasm. I like uh, their name. Their name actually doesn't really change from what it is because of the way you can read uh, Raiko's name. It still ends up as like River. Because Kawa in the end of her name, so they're still Prison River, and, but they still can include her in the, uh, the title name. I don't know Japanese chat, but I only know that because I, I knew what the word Kawa meant, and it was explained to me. I want, I want the blue, I want the blue. Oh, I already collected the white pieces. That's unfortunate. Well, you get a free 10 seconds to do whatever you want. I get to shoot snakes! Every track in this game has a spirit or trance to it. In fact, the, if you, if you get the OST, it has both of them. There's like 20 tracks on it. But like, I don't care about the spirit Speaking versions. Of, uh, things like that, uh... Uh, for Mother 3, uh, I believe the, the Mask Man fight theme, because the whole thing is that the, the tempo's all act. Apparently that's just programmed for, like, that's programmed, the way it's programmed is that if you replace that song with, like, any song, it'll still have that same effect. Huh. Just where is this yokai Miss Kogasa was talking about? Or was it even a yokai in the first place? I'll be disappointed if it's a human. Don't come any closer. This is no place but the likes of you to enter. <laughs> there you are. We are fighters, arisen to protect the magnificent mausoleum. J Jiang Shi? That's right. We had a life breathed into us by noble spirits. I know. I was watching. Tian Tian was rather cute, wasn't she? What is she talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> ah, no wonder I hadn't heard about Jiang Shi in a while. So you ended up hearing in Tokyo, huh? I don't know what you're talking about, but if you know of us, then you must understand. If you're done in Bayer Don Maku, you'll become a Jiangxi too. Spooky. Remember, the Sanzu River is is quite simply Sanzu no Kawa. So I think you can figure out which word means river and which word means Sanzu. So that's that's how I've, I've come to understand. I know bits and pieces of the language due to different things, but like obviously not enough to warrant any real. I am not- I am not educated in it. Dylan. What? Did you not back up during this spell card? Yomu's blade hits super wide. You didn't have to use the blade, you know. Yeah, but by the time I realized that, I had five seconds left. She just times you out. Yeah, fuck this. See? Stupid! Stupid! You got laughed at. Stupid! A weep approximation of the language. It's true. I can understand a few phrases and what they're going for. I just have to read the context. I can't read kanji, though. No, kanji makes no goddamn sense to No, me. it doesn't make any fucking sense at all. <laughs> it's like, hmm, yes, if you, if you put the characters like this, it means this. Bro, what? I guess, I mean, people probably feel that way about the English alphabet. Um, I often wonder what listen, my life would be like if my first language wasn't English. Would listen, it just be the same but not? It, it's kind of like words are represented by one character, whereas our words are represented by multiple characters. But it, there's like, like if you write the character for a name, the amount of strokes you do is that's pretty high. It, it takes a while to write it out. Yeah. I can throw stars at her! Well, you get the bullshit. Oh, careful, don't die. I don't want to become a uh, whatever she is. Like, when I see difficult kanji, I just think about how the fuck does anyone write this and have it look like even remotely readable? Um, how do I get over to her? My favorite character is the one that looks like a sideways smiley face. Yeah, everyone loves that one. There's also the one for no, which I know because it's used in like every anime title. It's the, uh, it's basically a sideways six. Oh. Yeah, she shoots lasers and then creates those, so you just need to shoot her. That's it. Let's see. It's because there's like, there's kanji, there's katakana, there's hiragana, and then there's some other one that's used as like... Uh, maybe hiragana is the one that's used. One of them is used over kanji to like break it up into a simpler explanation. Again, I don't really know because I don't, I don't know. Can I beat her? 
Second lap. Ah, I'm done for! <laughs> I've heard so many agonized yells today. But as long as life remains in this world, zombies will never perish. It's got a flair for the dramatic. Ah. Uh, uh, but you know. What? Young Shi have faded to fantasy, but zombies are really popular, right? That's good to know. I'm in a good mood. What is it you want? Would you let me through? Oh, if I must, I'll just take a little nap. Farewell. I hope she sleeps eternal this time. She she deserves to be lit free from Sega's bullshit. I, I don't know if I should have more lives at this point. I, I think I'm starting to see the problems with this game. Have you died yet? No. Then you're fine on lives. <laughs> okay. You're on stage for three lives. See the thing? That's what I mean, right? The game trades its difficulty and instead just doesn't give you any resources. And it lets you keep your bombs. So I basically just hoarded bombs until I could face tank everything at the end. Fair enough. I've only thrown, like, what, two stars at this point? Did Stop hating on more? Sega? Huh? Did you know that she played Santa Claus before in the Human Village? How did that she, go? She delivered presents to people and wanted a... And if you didn't leave out items to, like... For, to, uh, to exchange for her presence she left, she would just take something of value from you that she liked. So yes, yeah, not exactly a good person. I mean, her title is Wicked Hermit. I don't think I've ever met anyone with the title Wicked Hermit that was a nice person. No, Wicked, wicked usually means not pretty, not, not nice, they're pretty weeny. Uh, I guess at a certain time frame, I meant cool. Ooh, no one asked her to dress up as Santa Claus and invade their homes and leave presents. I don't know what the, the balls do. They follow you. Oh, I see. The fact that she just raids your vault and takes whatever she wants if you don't leave something out for her is just like, go away. I don't want your present anyway. Although I will admit it is, it is kind of nice to see her dress up as Santa Claus. She's gone, so you can just go. Alright, cool. I got another life! I got four lives! I don't know what like, spirits are up there anymore because I've stopped looking up there. Alright, I have the max thing in the bobber, so let me know if there's life pieces up there. So I can go up there. Bro, like I can see in that mess. At least I have a good spread shot. <laughs> Just go soak. Soak. Those probably have. Yep. There you go, four life pieces. And you might be able to get bomb pieces from them. Alright. There's a heretical establishment like this beneath a newly made temple? That's kind of disturbing. Why are you happy about that? It's, it's exciting. Welcome! Oh, it seems you're a human. Yeah, that one from before. Beyond this point is the mausoleum of a great Taoist. Her heretic humans are forbidden to enter. Oh my, a Taoist. So that Zhang Shi from before was yours? Well guessed. Just where has that girl gotten to? I beat her up. How should I tell her? Good morning! Oh, right at my side. Huh? It's still alive? Uh, corpses can't die, you know. Isn't that wonderful? Now, can you handle another round with this girl who has absorbed all the divine spirits that gathered in the tomb? Ah, um, if you don't mind, I'd like to turn down the offer. Well, too bad. It seems this girl has a grudge against you, too. I see, see, this wasn't bad for me because I could just cut through her. See, Sanai really just tried to turn down a trainer battle. That's not how this world works. Not like the softer set. Welcome to the real world, Sanai. Chat, the ground in this level reminds me of a fish tank. It's colored gravel. How about what else am I supposed to think about? Yes, fair enough. Yeah, well, she's dead for about five seconds. You see, she just kind of gets in the way, but my yeah. shots went through her. Yeah, that's the uh, thing. She's dead! She's back! I know for a fact that Sage is almost dead, too, and that's the annoying part. There we go. Hmm. 
I don't really like this theme that much, to be honest with you. But Desire Drive has been remixed into uh, one of the catchiest songs of our Toho songs of our time, huh? I, I guess. Dok dok wak wak. Ooh. Pr pretty sure Desire Drive is more popular than their actual theme. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, it's just some weenie curvy lasers. I see. Oh, it turns out they come from Yoshka. Dude, he just picked her up and revived her. All she does is throw knives. Look, she just picks her up! Yeah. I wish she's not. Nah. I wish she threw her at you. Just fucking yeeted it at you. Use it like a weapon. God damn it. Oh, this looks like ass. This doesn't look fun. Why? Why don't you remember this? Well, I might have pressed bomb on it or killed her really fast. Yeah, I'm willing to believe either or. This actually isn't as bad as it looks. Just kind of. Don't get, uh, don't get tough, and uh, you're good. Look at that. I'm surprised Yoshi didn't die in there. Of course, he can't die! Orb and bullet. Okay, I... Well, that was a free opening. There we go. Good. How splendid! You're not an ordinary human, are you? Can you tell? So what does a human like you want with a grand mausoleum? Um... What exactly is going on? Eh. Uh, right. An amazing person is about to be awakened. Those spirits were attracted here by her power and gathered their own accord. Huh? Is that right? Is that not what you wanted to know? I don't really... I don't think I really get it all that well. For now, why don't I just go on ahead to that door? I see. Will you convert? You would make for an excellent hermit. Um, no, I don't want to be a hermit. Hermits have a hard life. <laughs> Chad, I remember reading a... I, I, I read a... It was in a translation note for one of the written works. It was about how her, some hermits, when they trained, they ate a certain type of, like, bark that is used for... What the fuck was it used for? But basically, they, they eat this bark to, like, cleanse their insides. And by that, I mean, like, completely polish it or whatever. And it's like, obviously, it's fucking poison. But they're just like, nah, fam. Drink drink your drink your hermit juice. I want the life anyway. Drink your hermit juice and become a big, strong hermit. And it's just like, what the fuck is going on? I can't remember what it's called. But there was a there was like a translator's note at the end of one of the written works. I think it was Wildhorn Hermit because well, hermits come up every now and again in conversation due to consent. But it was definitely weird, and I know that I, I read it and I was like I gotta bring this up someday, and then I forget it. I'm gonna get those fast. Yeah. We we'll almost have a whole turn. You might be able to get one by the time you've done this. Alright. This is, uh, this is definitely quite tame for, uh, stage 5. But, uh, I know I shouldn't say words like that, because that's how, uh... Well, that's how oopsies happen, chat. Nico feels like a stage 4 boss. <clears throat> no joke. Well, I, I... I can do stage 4 bosses well sometimes. Not Marasa, though. This one hit me because I don't... You see? Yeah, that's... I don't understand the curvature! I don't really either, if I'm being real with you. I think I kinda sorta get it. Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! I guess it is a lightning bolt, huh? Well, she does. Yeah. Thunder arrow. Ooh! Almost dead. Yeah. I'm now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I should have. Oh. Yeah. Oh well. So these are gonna create a circle, so definitely don't get spawned in the ass. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, well, that, that's cool, but careful you don't get hit. Oh, now they're shooting. Oh, neat. Yeah, never mind, they're only shooting once. That's a bomb piece. 
There's the white piece there. There we go. Yeah. Oh man, there's more bombs and stuff there. Oh no, that's unfortunate. Well, you got like six bombs. <laughs> and Sophio sure is mysterious. To think that buildings like these are still laying, lying buried beneath the earth. Ah, the fateful day hath finally come. Thou ha who has blessed mine resurrection, speak anon and name thyself. Oh, someone's here. Who art thou that calleth upon me? Well, I'm a god in Gensokyo, while acting as a shrine maiden on the side. A god, thou sayest. Look at that face. She, she don't believe it for a second. Dost thou come before me seeking to deliver me unto heaven? Then mayhap there was value in having once before tasted death. No, I wasn't planning on that. Thou hast des Then what design has driven thee before me? I'm not really sure of that myself. Somehow or another, I just felt like something brewing in the air, so I came to take a look. Then thou art the lost child. I like how everyone can just understand what she's saying. <laughs> Very well, I shall cut through the, the haze of confusion that surrounds thee. <clears throat> Wilt thou bear witness as I demonstrate the fusion of the secret art of the Mononobe and the way of the Tau upon thee? Uh, okay. Too many O's. Too many O's. Yeah, I hate those arrows because they look like they have motion blur, but then there's just the whole arrow. It's just the whole arrow. Alright, then she. Yeah, she ride the boat. Puto drank her hermit juice, chat. Don't worry. She's okay. Hermit juice. I don't remember what it was they fucking ingested, but I know it wasn't a good idea. Alright, this is uh, this is starting to feel stage 5-y. I don't like this. Throw a star at her. She's on a boat! Oh, wow. We didn't even hit her with that. Oh my god, I timed it out. No, you didn't. You beat it. Oh, I didn't hear a noise. If you timed it out, you wouldn't have got the, the bonus. Or, not the bonus, but... If you time it out, you don't get the, the extra right. points. That, yeah, you have to go faster on the second one. That's what hit me last time. The 80 socket cups. So what's this? Oh, oh, they explode off the walls. Wait, did she do this to me? I might have pressed bomb. Yeah, I, will. I, I probably pressed bomb. My bomb doesn't look like it does a lot of damage, and that makes me sad. Mine doesn't hit the same place every time, so it, it doesn't do that much damage either. Well, I guess what you're doing isn't wrong, but... <laughs> I know, it's scaring me too, honestly. Ooh, oh, that's a nice now. speed! And then this one was, uh... Okay, so uh, the yeah. yellow ones keep going, but the red ones won't fall on you. So, you don't want to ah. be below her. <laughs> right. So, go up to the top of the screen, then you just want to do rotation and dodge the talismans. Alright, gotcha. Keep my finger on the bomb button ready, though. Wasn't this the one where you swore I ran into a talisman and I didn't die? Yes. Alright, yeah. You got hit by a bullet and then didn't actually get hit, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> a third of the way there. What matter of being art thou? Like I said, I'm a god while... It doth matter not. I anon appre apprehend the purpose of mine resurrection. The coming of a foe most wretched hath returned me. One of the Imperial Guard unto this waking world anew. Is that not correct? A foe most wretched? How rude. And anyways, one of these divine spirits, that's what I'm investigating. Divine spirit, saith thee. Hmm, these shades that doth linger about the art. Vulgar spirits, mayhap. The crown prince hath been resurrected. I cannot remain hither like this. Excuse me if thou wouldst. Um, 
Do you mind if I come in? I'm coming in, I'm coming in. Well, all right. Well, <laughs> Futo woke up. It's like, oh shit, the boss lady's up too. Not, we're not gonna care about Tojiko. So there were no, uh, there were no life pieces or bombs on the stage. Oh, good. It's literally just this for like a minute straight. All right, cool. So basically, I'm just, I either hold on to it for uh, death damage or just to get through the stage. Yeah. Okay, cool. So as you, it's just, yeah, if you kill the fairies, it seems like the, the trail behind them explodes. And they just spawn different areas. That's all it is. Oh, I forgot about those. Yeah, that fairy was still shooting. Hmm. I can't tell if this is a long stage. It, it felt long, but there's no mid boss. Maybe that's why it feels long, because there's no mid boss, and instead it's just stage length. Huh, it just. It feels lengthy, but it's not exactly difficult lengthy. I'm just gonna. Why do you do this? I mean, it worked. Power. Oh, there was a life piece up there. Oh, oh. Well, oh, you no. had. There was no chance you were getting no. a life. You need ten more. <laughs> All these divine spirits. That person just now called them vulgar spirits, didn't she? Hmm. That person just now's name was Mononobe, huh? It seems like I've heard that somewhere before. So I would recognize that. The Mononobe clan was destroyed. Oh, would she? Well, yeah, because they're a real clan. Oh, neat. I witnessed it for myself. It's ancient Japanese history, and Sanai would know that because she was from outside world. Fair. Ah. Long ago, the Mononobe clan and I opposed one another for religious reasons. To the public, it appeared as a confrontation between Shinto and Buddhism. What are you talking about? Uh, it was... I was said to be the Buddhist faction, but there was... That was a ruse that I had prepared. Um, who are you? I am Toyo Sato Mimi no Miko. People call me Prince Shotoko. Prince Shotoko? The one on the 10,000 yen bill? What area is she talking about? So yeah, chat, that's why uh, her ability in Genso Wander is to throw 10,000 year old yen at you. I see. I get it now. I expected that these divine spirits would be somehow connected to an immense source of faith, but since a legendary person like you was resurrected, it's no wonder they just decided to gather on their own. Wait, that's not very convenient for my faith. Desire overflows from within you. I have no reason to fight with you. Harmony is to be valued. But going back empty-handed after coming all the way out here is kinda... I understand. If I read your heart's desires, there is no need for words. Wouldn't you like to fight me and achieve some merit, should you defeat me? Uh, well, but... Pay me no mind. It will be beneficial towards my resurrection as well. Huh? Now attempt to defeat me. That will bring harmony to this world. Yeah, so, uh, when, when Miko was in power, she preached Buddhism, but she practiced Taoism in secret. Oh. So she used, uh, she used Buddhism as a, a political tool, basically. Because she believed that having people practice Buddhism would make them complacent with their lives and not seek more. Whereas Taoism is about, uh, Taoism is more about taking yourself to the highest limit, seeing yourself as uh, something more. That's why they decided to become the Shikaisen. They have a grander, they have grand ideals. But she figured people, people won't oppose her if she preaches a, a religion of, uh, that she defines as complacency. You saw that, didn't you? I think it's- I think it's- I did, yes. I think it's interesting. Oh, dear. I wasn't ready for that. It's interesting that the character would use something like that to their uh, their advantage. Political warfare via religion. I like the story with uh, Biakuden and Miko because there's a lot to them. That's I don't a, like these. I don't, I don't either. I just bump. <laughs> That's why I think they're some of the more interesting characters in the series. Originally, I didn't like them because I thought, on surface level, the only thing these characters really did was like, oh, one of them practices Buddhism and the other one practices Taoism. they have a hitbox? I did not check. 
but uh, the more you read into it, like who they are and what they've done and what they've accomplished and how they lived their life before coming against Tokyo, it's like, wow, these are actually like sick characters. I really like them. But yeah, but uh, when I first like really got to know them, I was like, I don't like these characters because it's it's just it's just this. Like, oh, one, crack, one is Buddhism, one is Taoism, and then that's, that's all they are, is a puppet to spew their religious, uh, their religious propaganda. But there's so much more to the characters than just that. So, if my bombs carry over between lives, do I not get a refresh when I die? Pretty sure you default back to two. So these get bigger when they, uh, become real. They're like illusion bullets. Okay. So if you see a gap, sometimes they expand and then there's no, uh, no room there. I learned that. Yeah, I learned that one the hard way. Same. You should be able to kill it before it happens again. Almost did. Like sign Halo. So this is just uh, Eternal Meek, but big and shiny. Ah, okay. Ah! I was gonna- I was literally about to say this is like Eternal Meek, but kinda easier. And then I died. And you get three bombs. You might want to use them. That's okay. I've also got another life left, so... You got two lives, though. I mean, isn't this the last one? No. Ah. Well, in that case... The next one is the weird one. Let's see. I don't like how fast they start shooting. Well, that'll take care of most of the... I deserve that, and now I'm out of lives. Oh, no. Well. What do these orbs do again? They follow them and they stop, they follow the words. I see. There's one behind you. Yeah. I uh, <laughs> what prompted that one? <laughs> Probably something about blowing up. <laughs> oh. Miko for pri! <laughs> Miko for pri! Uh, I guess I'll finish it. Do here. I was kinda I was kinda fucked six ways to Sunday, huh? Chad, I was so close. That hurts. It's okay, you can hide the first panel of my failure. I don't care if the game crashes. It's clear, but it's not clear. I should have waited for the third phase to use my bomb. Ugh! There we go! Yep. And now she's running away because they're they're too strong for her. It's five... About eight seconds yeah, away. Yeah, go from pretty. Eight seconds away from uh, finishing that. That's... So that's what I mean, right? You don't get any fucking lives, so you get hit once and you're like, Wow, that sucks. I'm like, shit, oh, man. Wait, now I have no backup lives. But the thing is, when you get hit, it's not just like, Oh, come on, this is bullshit. Like, fucking everything show through at me. Ugh, alright. Go for extra runs. Might as well. That was the bad ending, because he game over it right at the end there. Oh, that hurts, but I mean, I know I can do it for the next time. Ugh. So, now we have... Special... Alright, so I don't know how to do Mommy Zo at all, but I do know I got halfway through her shit before. So 
I'm sure I can figure out the stage. I have Ramo and I have Yomu. So, let's just use Yomu. I mean, I didn't pick Yomu. I meant the other one. Oh, I start with full power. Oh, good. Like in Mount Faith. You know, the good one. Well. Alright, how hard can this be? Hmm. <laughs> I heard that and I heard the death sound effect. How hard could it be? The Andrew Gauntlet where I tried to beat the Ocarin, then Nui, then Miko. No, I have to beat 11 first, except I'm not, because fuck 11. Yeah, he'd have to beat Utsuho, Koishi, Byakuren, Nui. Yeah, but fuck 11. And fuck 12 for that matter. He's not gonna ever beat them. I don't want to beat them. It's not really fun. <laughs> you did it, but it's not like you had fun. Oh, I had a great time after winning. Yeah, after winning. Because I was done, I never had to do it again. Yeah, exactly. Alright, I don't know what the fuck's going on here, and this is nonsense. I don't know, I don't think the the live thing is going to be too much of an issue, if only because I still only need 8 to get the first life piece. That said, if, uh, if I don't get many life pieces, I need to figure out what points I can affect. <laughs> or wait for Crocker to tell you. Spirit. Yeah, but as long as I can see where the life pieces come from, I can know. I don't know the best way to tackle this. See, chat, here's the thing. I could go back and do all of those things, but I don't have fun with it. And if the game's not fun, what's the point? Truth be told, the only boss I really want to go back and fight is Yukari. Dude, I played through all of UFO, and I hate it! Yeah, he hated it. So I beat it. I know you did. I didn't beat it, and I still hated it. Okay, yeah, I don't know how to deal with that shit. So I just press bomb. What do you call games that are less about having fun and more about the reward of finishing advancing it? Dark Souls. Except Dark Souls can still be fun. Depends what you ask. Yeah. Dark Souls 1 pissed me off. There, there, were, there were platforming segments and shit, and I was just like, what? Navigate this chasm that's in, like fucking invisible. Platforms. Ah, those bums all resurrected. The yokai world is in an uproar now. I didn't know she was here. She's old yokai number one. <laughs> so, I call in the yokai's trump card. It's over for you right now, though. So extra stage boss to extra stage mid boss. Does that mean Nui is on par with Ron? Either way, I'm fighting Nui again. Hey, there are no UFOs this time. Skyfish with an unknown shape. These are just arrows. There's no skyfish. Okay, now there's skyfish. Double layer dodge. My favorite. Dylan, they on. Okay, try again. Maybe I should just like stand here and let my home and bullets do the work for me. Yeah. This was not a good idea. <laughs> yep, yeah, I have no idea how to deal with that. I don't either, because I've never... I've never watched this I'm gonna be real with you. I don't give a shit about mommy's so. At all. Don't really care for her. Hello again, little one. There's the spooky fairy. It's like it's just random nonsense. I don't know where she is. Mommy Zell becomes a lot more interesting than Mommy Zell, particularly with the bit of scrollery. Yeah, because she actually gets to be a character. Fair. I feel like that, that probably can be said about a lot of characters, huh? No, not as much. She's actually not as popular as you'd expect, given her role. Well, not, not necessarily that she's more popular, per se, because of this, but just that she gets to become more of a character. There's a life piece up there. Oh, I didn't see that. It's gone now. This one kind of sucks. Bing! I don't remember 
remember where Mommy Zoe was in the sort of, but she was probably in a miscellaneous most box. So I, I really don't. Why am I playing the fucking? This is just this is this is what's her face, Juan. Oh. Well, someone did call her Goth Juan in the chat, so. I guess this would be why, huh? This is like cranberry trap. Yeah, I guess it really is, huh? I should have popped the spirit barrier there. Of the Souls 1 series. The only From Software game that I ever actually played was Sekiro, and I was very bad at it. I like, uh, I like Bloodborne. I know Dylan, yeah, Dylan really likes Bloodborne. I have not played Bloodborne, but I do have it. Let's make that a stream game. Watch me die a thousand billion trillion times. Oh, uh, they are. Kicked her ass before I died, though. Oh, you got like a really deep blue spirit that instantly gave you a segment of your trance bar. That's not anywhere in the main game. Why? Why only here? Well, you, you went hand neutral, you got the life. Well, that sucked. I've got a bad feeling about this. It smells like yokai around here. Or like wild animals. Well, now. Aren't you the Shrine Maiden of the Hakare? Who are you? Oh, your pardon, please. I'm... Well, let me read this. Futatsuiwa! Futatsuiwa from Sado. Everyone calls me Mamizo. Mamizo? What an odd name. Nui called me here, you see. She said the yokai were in a pinch and she wanted me to lend my assistance. Well, I guess that's because I'm exterminating them all. Look how smug she looks. Uh, however, I heard something about a seal saint having been released. Oh, but I beat her. She was a piece of cake. Oh ho ho! My, but you sound confident. Now that I've arrived, though, I'll have to put you back in your place. My transformative powers are still at their prime. Now, shall we begin a ten-game match of Danmaku Transformations? No, oh, I don't want to play ten rounds. Ten rounds, one for each desire. I remember this. So, Mamizo isn't native to Gensoko, right? What? Is she native to here or no? No. No. From the outside world. I told you this already. Okay, I'm just confirming, making sure I get my lore straight. So she's. This is her first time in. She said she was from Sato. All right. Cool. People. That means nothing. It means nothing. It means little to me. Anyway, I just I, I want to make a point. So this is the first time she's been against Tokyo. Well, it's not like she can just leave. Fair. So this is her first time here. She just got here. And she not only knows about the spell card rules, but has ten spell cards to immediately throw at you. Well, Nui probably told her about it. <laughs> BT dubs, prepare some shit. Actually, she can. But... I don't understand the, bo the barrier. You can't just leave willy-nilly. But doesn't Sumereko do that? Well, she's different, because she is some kind of bullshit. She also doesn't really leave, because she's only there when she's dreaming. And then when she wakes up, she's gone. I, I fucking hate this part. I don't know what's going on here. Aren't most of the yoki not native to Gensokyo? I mean, I'd say most yes. of them are. But, well, Any I'm... yokai older than Gensokyo is not native to Gensokyo. Because, Fair enough. But they made, they made but it. But is to... that is that the majority or like? Well, it depends on their made. Yokai are quite old. I know they are quite old. Ages aren't specified, but anyone older than 130 years old is uh. Instantly fills the requirements. Aya is from the outside world. They're all from the outside world for the most part. Raymond was born in Gensokyo. Marissa was born in Gensokyo. Are, aren't all, like, all the humans, but, well, not all, but with few exceptions, most of the humans here are from born here. All the humans. Moko. Well, not Sakuya, actually. Moko's an immortal human now, though. Yeah. Still a human. Alrighty. Hmm. This is more annoying than I thought it would be. I don't even know how that hit me. I don't know, I was looking at that. Racking up the points. Yeah. And now I'm dead. And then you explode. 
You know what? That's probably what my thighs meant. No worse! It'll go right to your thighs! And then you'll blow up. This one kinda... Kinda sucks! Those words. Is it possible to use them in a sentence like that? The sentence in question is, I like you up above. Chad, I like UFO. I just hate the UFOs. Does that mean I hate UFO? UFO would be better if its life pieces were easier to get your hands on and the UFO mechanic wasn't fucking garbage. Uh, let me tell you something. UFO would be better if it just played like the older ones. I don't know, man. I understand that you gotta, you gotta change up the, the things to make people more into it, but I, I, believe in the, I believe in if it ain't fixed, don't break it. What? If it ain't fixed, don't break it. Uh, Alright. <laughs> Raise the flag of rebellion. This... This part kinda sucks. A lot! Don't Cause worry. I can't beat it! Don't worry, chat. At worst case scenario, if Dylan beats Mamizo right here, right now, I'll at least get to do an extra stage when we get to 15. get to... Yeah, wow, well, I haven't done an extra stage in a while. <laughs> Mostly because I haven't, uh, haven't really cared about beating 11. I didn't, well, I didn't care about beating 11. I thought I cared about beating UFO, and then I realized I don't. So I did. I care about beating this now because I was 8 seconds off, and I'm, I'm, so, I'm bitter about it. Uh... Isn't Tay native to the region that became Gensokyo? I have no idea how that works. So I couldn't tell you. Dylan, is that how that works? Um... I guess it depends what area became Gensokyo. I don't think it's specified in a region. Tay came from an island? Who said that? Oh, she's the white rabbit. Did I choke? You think you're funny, don't you? What does the name Gensokyo mean again? Is it Fantasyland or something? Yes, oh, anyway. actually, it's something along that. Fantasyland. Pretty, uh, pretty straightforward name, really. I don't think it means necessarily like straight up fantasy land, but I do enjoy when when anything has a name that's like it's a name in like another language, but then you translate it and it's like yeah, I guess this is what it is, huh? I'm it's having like a real raging... fucking hard time with this. Like how the raging demon, whatever its name is called, it just it literally means hell, death, murder, and it's like yeah, I guess that's what he does, huh? He just straight up murders you. He grabs you and beats the shit out of you, and then he, he stands over you. Indeed, and he's like, yeah, I did that. It's like the special beam cannon. It is, in fact, a demon impaling light killing gun. Wow, I did it without a bomb. Fun. Well, no, <laughs> it's not. But I also don't know how I'm supposed to do it. Because this is like streaming, but at the same time, they start shooting scatters, and I, I'm, I'm scared. Like, should I just stand here? I don't understand. It might just be as simple as streaming, but I don't... Like, look at the size of the scatter shot. Yeah. And then Nui is a piece of shit here! I don't know why I keep I keep hitting these fucking fireballs, dude. What's up with the snake around her, her wrist? Because the, the body of a Nui is said to have a part of a snake, so she has an accessory to represent that. Okay. Were you paying attention to what Reimu said when she was explaining? Dylan, that was days ago. That was today. No, it wasn't. I Bold just explained you, it to you! Bold of you to assume that any of that information stayed with me for five minutes. Remember how Kogasa was just random bullshit? Well, guess what Nui is? Random bullshit? Yeah! Asian Lunatech Runegate reveals that Yokai Mountain preserves the original appearance of Mount Yatsu Yatsugatake, today Nagano Province. Cool. Anue is the head of a monk 
body of a tanuki, wings of a tiger, front end of a snake, and as a tail. Yep. A very strange creature. That no one ever gonna be able to properly explain what it looks like, because everyone's sightings are apparently different. That's why it's it's a yokai of unknown form. Ooh. Boom. That explains why new I knew I mentioned that everyone sees her differently. Yep. That's why all yeah, the all the UFOs and UFO are actually part of something else, the, the soaring vault. But she puts the seed of uh, the unidentified in it, which means if people don't know what it is, they perceive it as that, a UFO. Oh. That's why they all see them as UFOs. So then why does collecting three of the same color make a big one appear? Don't ask questions that I don't have the answers to. But isn't that like your whole thing? I don't have, have an answer to the stupid- Look man, the whole thing is pretty stupid anyway. Like, oh, yes, what is. the fuck hit me, dude? There's a lot on screen. It's not far-fetched to say that something. I've made tighter dodges in previous games, and now I'm just getting fucking blindsided by random shit. Micro-dodging and RNG. I don't, I don't know what's hit me the last couple times, yeah, I really Nui's, don't. Yeah, Nui's just sound like chimeras, but somehow even more complicated. They're freaky looking. Speaking of freaky looking... Where's my skip button? There's... Uh, okay, I guess Why it's that one. Why don't you need to know where your skip button was? There is no skip button in the game. Did you, you changed your controls back from mine, right? There are no, there's no skip button. Well, I, I just I hold the A button. I guess there isn't, huh? Now that I think about it, you didn't actually set one. I don't know how this one works. She just throws people at me. <laughs> throws people at you. There's probably a better way to stream it, but... Wow, this looks really slow and boring. Next front should get her. Yeah, hey, you're foaming in this too. So Only if I unfocus. Yeah, notification. These cooldowns are weird. Next, carnivorous. Just the dogs. Yes. If I remember correctly, this is uh, something like this. And go through them like that. Like bumper crop, basically. Didn't you like. Isn't there a last battle card like that along with something else? I think it's like everything. I don't know. I just. I, it look, it's dodging from side to side, so it didn't look fun to me. I remember it from the Get Good video. That's when he talks about uh, if you can beat it, then you don't need to fucking practice it. So the main difficulty from this boss is her jank ass hitboxes on her animal transformation bullets. Yeah, they uh they look like they could make less sense. But are they rice bullets? She's Her cooldown pisses me off. I see we've returned to circles. I don't have enough to fight this. Amphibian. These are frogs. Oh, baby. Tells me I'm not doing this right. I think he did well enough. He captured it. These don't look fun. The fucking cooldowns are so bad. This is like the opposite of every other extra stage we've done. Oh my god, her cooldowns are dumb as shit. She just throws big balls at you. <sighs> oh, oh that's, yeah, you can't continue. That wasn't what I wanted to do. They're the worst part about this. <sighs> No, I'm gonna need some info on this shit. Tanuki 
these have big balls, so it makes sense. And got a point. That is what Tanukis were known for. Although Tanuki balls were uh, big to the point of being comical. They could also stretch their uh, their scrotums to use as hang gliders. Yeah, I've, I've I've seen the imagery where they stretch them out to use as a raft, and I'm like, this can't be comfortable. Can they it? do that in a Ghibli film. I believe it. There's a Ghibli film all about Tanukis, and they, they use the they use them as hand gliders. I don't know why they have big ball. <laughs> why why do Tanukis have big ball? Wait, where's my other life piece? What? I only got one. What the fuck? I what? don't know. You picked up the one that was right there, right? There's supposed to be two. Oh, is there? Two no, of I... each. I see. I don't know which one I hate more. This one or the next one? <laughs> I don't know, this one just looks kind of like dodging, the next one just looks like a pain in the ass. They're dodging. both dodging, but I keep getting hit by these for some reason. I hate this one. Yeah, this one looks worse, because it's dodging on top of more dodging, whereas the last one Hope you picked dodging. a good gap and they didn't get fucking blocked. I mean, that was basically Suiko's first cooldown, was find the gap that didn't get blocked. If it got blocked, whoops! And then this one is, uh... I don't... Alright, this is, uh... The first part is the, the timeout spell, and then there were nine, and then it's just a weird rendition of Cranberry Trap. Yeah, this is basically, this is, uh, Blueberry Trap. I do not like cranberries. I, in fact, do not like most berries. But if you put a, if you make them a flavor, they're always good. Or if you put it in yogurt. If you ever want a berry to taste good, just put it in yogurt. It works every time. I'm not sure what's happening on that side of the screen, but it ain't my problem. It might be your problem now. I know these, you know, I'm only just realizing this now. I know these are all nameless fairies, but, uh, why exactly did they not have to play by the spell card rules and just kind of show up and shoot? Well, because they're idiots, and they're just excited. More importantly, why do they always show up where you don't want them to be? You made it. Well done. Get her done. Well, now. Fucking dogs. Has her cool? Have her cooldowns changed at all, or do they just keep getting faster? I don't know. Do this balls. That is what Tanukis do. Yeah, kids, kids don't play by the rules. Like that one kid in third grade who tried to tell me that uh, while playing Sorry, that my own pieces could hit my own pieces in the safe zone. And I'm like, are you fucking dumb? I didn't believe him for a second. I don't believe that's a rule, chat. That, if it's a real rule, it's the stupidest rule I've ever heard, and I'm not playing by it. It's like, here's the safe zone for your pieces. Oh, but your pieces can apparently validate that rule. Chat, I, I was not taking that, and he got people to back him up, and I'm like, no. No, I don't believe you. That rule is dumb, and I hate it. I went a little bit too this fast. This one was hard. Yeah, fairies aren't immortal per se, but if they die, as long as the, the nature of the thing exists, they'll come back eventually. Where do the fairies come back? Is that like a random or do they come back when they die? No one ever talks about that. I think I'm asking the real hard any questions now. I guess they just appear. But where though? Maybe they respawn at home. Oh, so it's like Minecraft, their bed is their respawn point? I don't know, fairies find a home within nature and then they just live there. But only fairy homes can only be like accessed by other fairies. Or seen by other fairies. They live in trees and shit. Well, Clown Piece lives under the shrine. So, John Machu and Martin Hill. 
wherever they set their respawn point at, that's what I'm saying, wherever they're bedding. That's where they put their Minecraft bed. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how these frogs work. I don't... I didn't really, like, pay... Oh, they explode, that's why. The bomb is capable of destroying them. Functionally immortal might be a good way to describe the fairies' existence. They are, but they are. They are, but they also can't really die. Oh, wow, that's tough. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's a that's a mechanic that I absolutely despise in the later game, starting from ten. Like how the bullets disappear from the, the center of the screen outward, so you can just get fucked by a bullet that didn't disappear yet, as opposed to the older games where they all disappeared at once. Not a fan. Not a fan of this change. Her cooldowns are just abysmal. What is this? Sex duel. Tanuki's monstrous school. The people are coming at you. This this looks like ass. Do the people like have ass. hitboxes? I, I'm willing to bet they do. If you want to test that now, now's the time. If I kill her here, I get a one up. Hey, did it. I live, bitch. These cooldowns look awful. They are awful. They just look like eternal meat, but worse. What? Ah. Uh. Dude. 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 I hate her. I'm done. Alright, I don't really feel like doing another one, honestly. Kind of tohooed out. I'm done, chat. I don't want to do another one. I don't know what's going on there, and they're, they're stupid, and her cooldowns pissed me off. So, I'm good with what I, I can stop here. Uh, I'm going to wait until Friday. Oh, what a pain in the ass. No, those are your earbuds. These are for mine. I'll figure it out eventually but right now i don't want to do it again i need to figure out how that stage works i guess same deal as last time really i just don't want to hurt the oh my god man cooldowns are supposed to be easy and then her cooldowns i cannot handle them there's so many big bullets in this game and their hitboxes are weird and i keep getting hit by them and they're making me frustrated because i don't understand how their hitboxes work yeah that sounds about right stupid big balls but yeah we'll be back on friday and i'll try again I'll... as well up I'll do research, I guess, and we'll see if I can make a miracle happen like Nui again. But, uh, yeah, goddamn, she's uh, not as simple as I was expecting her to be. But I think it's mostly just because I don't know what I'm doing. Once I figure that out, I should be okay. That's how most extra stages go, or any Toho stage for that matter.